Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Construction Time with Jordan. Let's take a look at this kitchen that we're building. Now this is the rough, this is part of the rough stages of the kitchen. Until now, we basically worked behind the walls. We just <clears throat> placed new wiring, plumbing, we moved the gas line. As you can tell, underneath the kitchen counter or where the counter would go, we had to move the plumbing also just above it, we had to center the window and we were dealing with a ceiling. Oh, actually we can take a look at the ceiling that has the old 50s and 60s design with the plank paneling on the ceiling. So what we went ahead and done was we framed out the ceiling and we placed drywall. At the same time, we ran electrical lines inside, and this allowed us to drop the ceiling by, by about five and a half inches <clears throat> and install four inch recess can lighting. Now your standard recess can lighting is about six inches, six and a quarter inches. So we would have to drop the ceiling another two inches and that would be taking a lot from the ceiling. So what we did was we used the four inch remodeled recess lights. And as you can see, they look more remodeled. They look newer and aesthetically they're very nice. So now we have a brand new dropped ceiling, if you will, with brand new four inch can lighting. And when we installed our cabinets now, at least the rough cabinets, you can see how remodeled it looks. So we have <clears throat> the side cabinets with the Lazy Susan. As you can see, these are solid cabinets. They're sturdy. We have <clears throat> plywood just above the cabinets themselves. And this is for either the granite or the countertop installation. And the owners are still choosing what they'd like to go with. Now, we opened up this wall over here for a more... Um, open floor plan so you can see you know for instance if you have a couch in the corner or if you have some type of entertainment uh, room because this can act as well this would be the formal living room but as you can see it's open now where it used to be closed and on this end we have the overhead cabinets standard but again solid we, we moved all the electrical lines, as you can tell, all new electrical 14.3s and 14.2 Romex lines going into your single gain and double gain receptacles. To code, we have to... Yes, we do. We have... Uh... <clears throat> Give me one second. Perfect. Okay, everything is aligned. We have the bullnose corners. And this is an option. You can either go with 90 degree angles or bullnose corners. New homes and new construction nowadays really implement bullnose corners because they look a little bit more modern and especially they cut the different lines. For instance, a lot of these older homes, they have straight lines. So the bullnose corners, they cut they make, you know, give another dimension, if you will. And as you can see the floor, we have to scrape down the floor. It had 40 year old or 50 year old tile. And this is the old tin set. Really difficult to get out, really laborious. Takes a lot of scraping, but I think we're pretty good. You know, we checked the elevations and the levels of the floor. It seems like we are good to go. We have the new drain line. And the refrigerator, as you can tell, is gonna go over here. So we are good to go. Now, as you can see, once we, once we plugged in and installed the drywall, and I want you to take a look at the ceiling. Here you can see we sprayed the texture. Once you spray the texture, you want to prime the walls. So this is basically primer 
without any paint. And it kind of looks like there's paint on it, but these are only two coats of primer. So this is pretty much the kitchen. We will let you see once we get you know, more of the cabinets in and the countertop and we paint the kitchen and we install the flooring. But for now, you can kind of get a general idea of how a rough kitchen looks like. Okay, well, thanks again for tuning in and uh, hopefully you enjoy our videos. Have a great day.